This is Frank Little. He's a photographer whose pictures get millions of views, but you probably don't know who he is. There's a very good chance, though, that you know his work. I found that people were really responding to it, you know, to, to my work, and that became very exciting. You can find his work on his Facebook page, Frank Little Photography. Thousands already have, and his audience is potentially about to get a lot bigger. Little's dreams of being well-published and a recognizable name got an unexpected boost last year. What could be a life-changing reward for all the miles he has put on his car traveling to capture the city at its most magnificent. There's a documentary that is being entered into film festivals here and internationally. It's still very early in the film festival season, but this documentary has already won nearly a dozen awards. It is aptly titled Frank Little. You know, it's a big palette of color and light, and I'm just really drawn to that. I, it's a, actually, it's kind of exciting. It's very interesting. It, you know, I didn't expect to have a documentary named after me. Daniel Stanislawski, a documentarian in Poland, follows Little's photography page on Facebook. He likes his work so much that he asked Little to be the subject of his next documentary. Little is known for his shots of the New York City skyline, dramatic sunrises, moonrises, lightning strikes, and cityscapes. Uh, it, it's, it, it's so interesting to shoot and it's so dynamic. Little said yes to the documentary. Stanislavski came to New York and they spent two days together. Now they're hoping the film will have great success at Sundance. There's a lot of upside to it. I hope that a lot more people um, will get to see my work because of that. And people really respond to his work. He recently found a shot of the 9-11 tribute in light he took two years ago. Not this one, this one. He posted it this September on several social media sites. It went viral, more than a million views. Little hopes his documentary will lead to a gallery exhibition in New York City. That's always been a dream of mine. Kristen Shaughnessy, New York One.